What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer any files between any iOS, Android and PC with iSkySoft iTransfer. So this is the software right here and as you can see it does support iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch with iOS 5 or later and it also says for Android devices with Android 2.2 or later as well as the iPad Classic, the iPad Nano, the iPad Shuffle or the iPod Shuffle with iPod iOS 1.0 or later. So I'm simply going to connect my phone using the USB and of course my phone is an iPhone SE at 64GB so of course this opens up but my phone is also shown here. So the information it tells us already, my phone is on iOS 10.2.1. It also tells me my phone storage, so I've used up 30.54 gigabytes out of 59.05 gigabytes. Now we can find out more information about the iOS by selecting details. Now I won't be clicking it simply because it does show the phone model and the serial number. However, if for those wondering what else it shows, it tells you if it uh, what type of phone it is, it tells you what the carrier is, it tells you your phone number, and it also even tells you your battery battery level. So that's pretty good as well. And there's a lot more other things there. So phone to phone transfer. Now this is a pretty good feature. What you can do if you have two iPhones or an Android and an iPhone or two Androids, you can transfer your files from one phone to another phone. So this is good if you get a new phone. It's very easy. All you do would select it, make sure both devices are connected and it would simply transfer. The next one is backup photos to PC. So if I select this, you can see it's loaded my photos. Now I choose where I want this to save. So I'm going to select a new folder. I'm just going to call this photos. Now as you can see I have a lot of photos, uh, 1390, so it will take some time because of course I have photos and I also have videos. But that's how simple that would be and even if I cancel this now, um, the ones that already transferred are already going to be transferred, meaning they'll be on my PC already. These two features right here, transfer iTunes media to device and also rebuild iTunes library. Personally, I don't think they are useful, but of course you can experiment with that yourself. Over at the top here, we have my music. So it says my phone is connected. I'm on my music. As you can see, it has my music and it also has my playlists here. Now, if I select the add button, you can see I add a file, which means I can simply import music from my computer straight to my device without using iTunes. So what I'm importing right now is Drake's new album. I downloaded it, but it's still not on my device. So I will transfer it right now. You'll see there's 22 songs. It's going super fast. And I believe it's actually quicker than iTunes itself. Okay, and just like that, it is now done. As you can see, all of the songs are here just like that. And of course, I messed up my uh, speech folder. So I'm gonna select one of them. I'm going to come back to the top of the drake, holding shift, select this one. So now they are all highlighted and I'm simply going to remove them and I'm going to select yes. But another thing I can do, if I right click it, I can add it to a playlist so I can transfer it to another playlist. However, in this case, I'm just going to simply delete it and select yes. Another thing you can do, you can actually export your music to your PC. So I'm going to right click this one. I'm going to select export and I'm going to select export to PC. So I'm going to put it on my desktop. So as you can see, it is now exported. I'll select open folder. And as you'll see, just like that, it is on my PC that quick. The next one is videos. Now this is not videos you have personally taken because that will be under photos. This is videos. So ones you have downloaded from iTunes, TV shows, music videos, movies. And of course, if you have some on your computer, you can add your own. So this is how you could add your movies, TV shows, YouTube videos to your phone directly using this software. So this is the photos one now. You can see I can convert things to GIF. So if I select it, convert to GIF. Uh, this is a video of me in the gym. Um, you can see photos to GIF or video to GIF and you can choose how it turns out. And you have full control of your photos from here. So you can delete them. You can even export them to your PC. The next one is information which has your uh, contacts, which I won't go to because of course it's going to show my uh, numbers and stuff. But the next one is apps. And these apps right here are currently installed on my device. So if I can select one, I can simply uninstall. Now it does say export. However, if I select this, you'll see it does not work just yet. But right clicking, I can simply uninstall a program or one of the softwares right from here. And then this is the Explorer tab. So when you open or when you connect your device to your PC, you usually get a pop up 
Now with this, you get that pop-up, but you get control of so much more. I know on the iPhone, for example, the only thing you can see is your DCIM, which of course is your camera photos. Here, you can see so much more. And the final thing is toolbox. Very useful things here. As you can see, restore device, backup device, gift maker, fix iOS if you're having any problems. And of course, rebuild iTunes library, transfer iTunes media to device, and of course, the phone transfer when you can do phone to phone. But definitely be sure to go ahead and check out this software in the description. It will be helpful for those whoever did decide to invest into a new phone and you need to transfer data. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.